Okay, now the construction planning and method. What did we do? Obviously, first of all, let's talk about the organization uh, of the Burj Dubai site. Now, obviously, the owner is Imar, and the project manager is Turner Construction, and the main contractor is Samsung B6 Arabtech as a joint venture partnership. Um, obviously, the project manager, they have their own consulting group, uh, which consists of SOM and also the supervision consultant, uh, Hyder, and also the quantity surveyor and also independent um, material uh, and testing and inspection agency. On the other hand, um, uh, from, uh, from our end, um, uh, you know, we have uh, other contractors um, on the site that had worked uh, before us, uh, such as NASA Multiplex, who did the uh, foundation, or the raft foundation on the tower, and cathodic protection, and so on and so forth. But our joint venture consists of direct work, subcontractors, uh, which consist of masonry finishes, waterproofing, and um, uh, direct work, which is reinforced concrete structure, uh, four more pre-bar concrete earthwork, and also provisional sum, and we have nominated subcontractors, um, which is a nominated subcontractor really uh, formed the largest uh, portion of, um, of our work. Now, in terms of the project organization or the GV board, um, um, which consists of um, MR, uh, EMO office, which is our um, Middle East office, and also the headquarter, B6 headquarter, our APTAC headquarter. And under that, we have the project director, and we have the deputy project director that is responsible for mostly the construction um, of the project, uh, which includes all disciplines. And as you can see, uh, the, sa the staff consists of about 155 people, Samsung is 115, B6 12, Arab Tech 7, and GV uh, is about uh, 121 that have been recruited uh, to work with us. Um, and essentially, Samsung's scope of work focuses on the um, tower planning and logistics, and also the engineering and the planning. Um, obviously, the MEP work, uh, part of it by Samsung, part of it by Arab Tech, 